Oh, that's right. the bailiff. He's wandering around. God be with you. I've got a few questions for you, bailiff, if you don't mind. Have you been having some trouble around here? And what business is it of yours? Did someone complain? Who sent you here? No one complained, though I'd be interested to know why you think they might. It was Lord Radzig who sent me. He'd heard word that some unsavory characters are holed up round here. Begging your pardon? Well, what the devil does Sir Radzig care about it? And I keep hearing the same from Sir Sebastian. And he's got no dog in this fight either. You have an inn and the horse trails cross here. There must be many travellers come seeking work, and not all of them honest men. Aye, it's true. Bedlam has broken out once or twice, and restoring order was no easy matter. Has there been anything like that lately? No. It's been quiet here lately. Now that I think about it, I don't recall coming across anyone here like that. Nobody looking for soldiering work, maybe as a merchant's guard? There's always one or two like that. But if they don't get the job, they move on. Sir Sebastian? Who's that? Sebastian Baron von Berg. He's here under monastery law to protect us against all this unrest in the land. Why should he care about the city? That's not his jurisdiction, is it? Quite true. I'm in charge of this city, but he keeps telling me I've got cutthroats hiding around here and I should be more vigilant. The goal of the man. I heard some recruiters are meeting in Sassau. Seemed likely they'd get up to mischief and people might complain. Do you think that people here complain and I don't do my job? Nothing of the sort. Old Lederman's the only one that comes complaining, but I pay no heed to him. And what does this Lederman complain about? Lederman is our local tanner. Lives by the quarry, which is where... Well, some youngsters go there to wrestle. They go there to fight and that doesn't bother you? Why would it bother me? Much better to brawl there than in the tavern. At least in the quarry they can't damage anything but each other. And my catchpoles go by there from time to time to keep an eye on things. Have you heard any talk of strangers in the town? Maybe people acting oddly? Nothing worth mentioning. Sure, there's been some talk about the miller. Folks saying they've been seeing him doing this or that. Or people visiting him at night. But he's never done anything. He's a decent enough man. For a miller. I'll try asking him if he's heard anything. He lives on the other side of the river, by the bogs. But don't go getting your hopes up. He might not be able to help. Thank you, Bailiff. Take that, you dirty miller, milling things. I'm here on behalf of blacksmith Zack. Zack? What does that madman want now? Don't tell me. It's another complaint about the Master Armorer. Well, you can tell Zack if you waste another minute of my time with that pathetic feud of his. I'll have him up for disrespecting the office of the bailiff. No, it's not a complaint this time. In fact, Zack came up with an idea to settle the dispute once and for all. Is that so? Well, that's a different kettle of fish. That's just what I was after. You have my full attention, friend. What's his plan? A duel. Jesus Christ! Has he lost his wits entirely? Okay, dude, you really need to start, like... <laughs> you need to start introducing the subject as what it actually is, instead of just, like, letting it hang in the air like it's a duel to the death every time. By the way, I'm just all the more... Dedicated to going against Zack in this, just because his stock is worse, but also he, he deals with criminal elements, and he keeps claiming to be the best one in town, and he just seems to be getting on everyone's nerves all the time, and I kind of don't want to visit him anymore. Don't worry, Goodman Bailiff. No one will get killed. It will only be a duel with bludgeons. Zack chose me as his champion. I'll be wearing a suit of armor made by his son, Vitus, and I'll fight Otter's champion. Whoever falls first, loses. <laughs> that sounds like a fine spectacle for the village green. Naturally, I'll have to be present to ensure nothing untoward happens. <laughs> Your presence is certainly expected, Bailiff. We'd like you to referee the whole duel. Very well. We'll have it on the marketplace in the front of the church. But when? That's up to you. We could announce it right now. 
Let's do it. I'll have it announced around town. You come along at just the right time. It'll be a fine show for the townsfolk, and I'll finally get that pair and their constant squabbling off my back. Citizens of Sassau, our township has long been plagued by a protracted dispute. As you are no doubt aware, Zack, the blacksmith of the monastery courtyard, and master armorer Otto Rabstein have been for some time at odds. Ha ha! hammer and tongs, more like! And in so much as it behoves my office as bailiff to settle such disputes and maintain peace and order, I have decided to resolve the blacksmith's quarrel by unconventional means, whilst affording an entertaining spectacle. In short, we shall let them knock each other's teeth out. <laughs> However, since it ill befits two respectable tradesmen to maul each other on the market square, like a pair of cocks on a dung heap, each of them has elected a champion. Zack, the blacksmith, has appointed to fight in his stead Henry of Scarlet And Master Otto Rabstein's champion will be... <laughs> Please, introduce yourself, Sir Knight. Master Otter will fight for Master Otter. I don't need some young pup to take my place. <laughs> I remind you that this will be a duel with bludgeons alone and until first blood is shed. Come folks, be sensible for heaven's sake. We don't want any maiming here, or, God forbid, murder. So, if both contestants are ready, let us begin. He's willing to do this because I'm taking the role myself. Give up. Give up. Uh, ow. ow, shit, ow. Rude. <laughs> What are you doing? Huh? No cover. Yeah? Oh, you're taunty, aren't you? You're really leaning into this thing that you know I'm gonna lose on purpose. Hey, first blood was just shed. <laughs> Technically. I'm gonna poke you with a bludgeon, which I know does like zero damage in this game. Because bludgeons have a piercing stat of like two. As opposed to like the 70 or that the uh, half the weapons have for their actual attacks. Ow. Beat me already, come on. I'm making this easy for you. Oh no, I'm not. Wow. I, I'm already you're already losing against my alright. You know how this one ends. I'm wearing down my stamina. If I wear down my stamina enough, then, I, then I'll take damage. This is a completely believable fight where I'm definitely trying to win, obviously. Owie. That wasn't very nice, sir. Can you try to win a little better, please? Owie. Oh man, what a tense fight. How will I hold the candle against your nonsense? Okay, that's actually starting to hurt. <laughs> there you go. Ow, that's an injury. When does first blood happen? <laughs> what counts as first blood when I'm starting to take actual injuries now? Ow, that's a- I need my brain for my thinking done. I do that to, to brain talk. Ow. He didn't finish hurting my brain, did he? Holy shit. Wasn't I wearing armor under all that? I'm sorry. Otto was just too good for me. Damn it. 
I should have known you weren't up to it. Well, I'll just have to think of something else. But the bailiff said the duel would end the dispute. Quiet! Don't annoy me more than you already have. Now get out of my sight before I shove the bludgeon up your ass. Wow. Uh... I did not heal afterwards. Thankfully, you can see my health going up slowly over time. I don't remember if it auto heals when you're low on health or not, or if it's just auto healing because of my my bonus or not. But my health is on its way up, I, I suppose. Anyway, back to being dressed up like a fly ass dude. That's not the good piece to wear. My armor is way better than any of their armor, which is the slightly frustrating thing. It's like, why can't I just wear my awesome armor? I'm gonna wear their dumb armor. Because it's something about honor or whatever, and these factions facing off with their craftsmanship and stuff. I'm like, but mine's better. My pauldrons have 20 armor and have 20 charisma now. That's how crazy my stuff's getting. Wow, that's a very red screen. Ah, no, uh, no negative stats for the moment. It's just my world is red. But I don't have any debuffs. Can I clean my pants somewhere? There's that's probably a spot. There we go. Who needs honor when you can get paid? Hey! I'll come for my reward. It's a good thing you're here. I'm glad you didn't change your mind about throwing the duel. You could land some hefty blows if you wanted to. Maybe. I'll give you one of my older pieces, but I adjusted it so it'll fit you like a glove. Thanks. If you ever need anything else, stop by. I will. Armor Oda's Curious. Please be an upgrade. Please. Oh, wow. It's a lot of Grushin. That's actually a lot of Grushin. Uh, where's my Curious? So that's the top right slot. Where's mine? That one. Wow, it sucks. Has 18 charisma, though. How much does mine have? The Curious is my good piece of gear, isn't it? 16 charisma. What's it look like? I'm wearing that right now. Oh, wow, it looks really nice. That much is true. So it's a piece that has... It has higher charisma than my current stuff. Probably being a net bonus for my overall charisma set, but still not, like... Still not as good as my actual armor I already had. Oh, well. I have 7.6 thousand, though, so at least he gave me, like, half a thousand on the spot. I should find the local ladies to fix my health. Because <laughs> this is unpleasant. Very slowly fixing itself, but I'm not really keen to wait. They have bathhouses around here, don't they? There we go. Right up there. There we go. We can say goodbye to Zach from here on out, I think. And now I'm just going to go off to the bathhouses and pass more time until... And if necessary, I'll just wait afterwards because I need to get to... Nighttime to meet with the locals. How are we doing with the... Uh, oh, nourishment. I could do some nourishment. Yo, in a private area eating our food. What the hell's wrong with you? Hi, I would like to do a thingy thing. Oh. Can you come out? Yeah, I want something every. Can you come out here where I'm allowed to talk to you again? No, not pickpocket. There we go. I'm interested in your uh, services. Uh huh. And what do you want? Uh, I'll certainly need a physician to treat my wounds. Then a hot bath and uh, launder in my clothes. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. The bath maids make a new man out of you. That's, wow, seven hours. I guess being that wounded will add to that pile, huh? 
It wasn't that long before, right? I think it was... I think it did scale up for the amount of wounds. How is this treated, by the way? Do, do you rest in the process? Oh yeah, 100% health, energy, and nourishment. So you get capped out over across the board when you come here. Got it. Now there's not much to do besides wait, though, is there? What's that? We can talk to the Tanner if we want to. Seems kind of unnecessary, cons considering we already know what we need to know. That probably would have been one of the objectives that gets completed automatically if I had acquired it before the part where we learned about the church. I want to see the light turn on. We'll fast we'll fast forward to midnight. Oh, I forgot to torch. Am I about to get in trouble? That is an annoying law. That said, I've been worried about it all game and it's never come up again except for that one time in like the first couple hours of the game of being in Retai where I got jailed for not having a torch for a few minutes. Uh, and I got jailed the next day. Making it all the weirder. The strange part of the game. Oh, I see a light. You hang out over here, Pebbles. I gotta meet some crazy people. So I come here and I wait. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. What? So, you've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Well, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that. But he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. You won't go wrong with me. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight. But not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? Nah. Not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Who's Pius? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. Few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. I'll have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys? It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Oh, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister, or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest, but it didn't quite work out. And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? Hey, you'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns, supposed to join the monastery soon. 
Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well-dressed and had a fine-looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> We're better. There's more wine there than in the royal cellars. And I doubt he's suddenly stopped drinking. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. <sighs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to run off, alright? Well, that became awfully eventful, didn't it? Oh, they even saved for, for me. How nice of them. Was it a key on the floor? There we go. I'll lockpick the shit of this. I don't give the, care if they gave me a key just now. Do, 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 do. It's a hard door to open. Yeah, a new level of stealth. Awesome. It's actually really relevant to what I'm about to do, so thank you. Slim fit. Lowers the noise of armor and other equipment by 20%. Nice. When you're wanted, people will be less likely to recognize your face and, and will soon stop looking for you. I mean, he does have an ordinary mug, so it's accurate, but now I'll do the noise reduction. Nice to have. Very nice to have, even. And this is bound to be interesting. So, on top of all the other objectives they gave me, my, I have an additional objective, which is to, uh... Try to get the Necronomicon. I've hit the point where the the main story is having me go inside that place. That's significant. What day is it? Oh yeah. I'm gonna update an old save manually for my own purposes, especially after spinning that perk point. So I've been waiting. I wanted to get that Necronomicon for a while, but I'm like, how the hell do I stealth this place? And it's one of the reasons I've been slowly working up my skill. And I know my skill significantly better because I've actually opened a few of the doors at the cloister. Uh, just poking around. And I'm like, oh crap, it just works now. That guy is sliding. Hello, sliding man. Yeah, I know, walking's overrated anyway. So my stealth skill, and in particular my lockpicking skill, is significantly higher than it was the first time around we tried this. And if I'm lucky, this guy that's supposed to be joining the monastery will be a source of a disguise. So if I can get a disguise from him, I can sneak in and we can have a rerun of when I was trying to was trying to pretend to be a kuman. But maybe I'll be maybe it'll be easier to, to keep it going longer this time as a pretend priest. 
It was hard to keep the other one going because I didn't even speak the right language. So I just growled at people and each dialogue option disappeared one by one. It wasn't really a good plan. So maybe the disguises will work out better this time. Or maybe he has another suggestion. Because they just suggested to disguise myself as him if I if I can take him out. Houndsman. Talk to the young man who's supposed to enter the monastery. You're not young. Be a bit more careful. Tell me you're not really young generally. Is it gonna be that one ha that one room I haven't had access to all this time? Nope, not that one. Oh, hey. Carl? Guardian Manfred. Who? No. The Fresco Master? That's not who I'm looking for. Seems to have relocked all of his chests, though. Uh I don't see anyone around, and it is nighttime, so it's probably cleared out. I'm not entirely sure if I want to wait until morning. The Tavern Brawler. Is it you, random guy walking around? Nope. Eh. It's technically an option, but maybe I can just sneak around all awesome-like. Vitus. What the hell are you doing? I'm uh, just just rubbing it in that I made your armor look bad because you tried to punch me once. Yeah. And mostly failed. Yeah. Isn't his name the name of that disease that makes you dance? Anyway, one important detail I would say is probably the fact that, uh, they set us up with a thing where, like, the, uh... I'm supposed to get dice and money as evidence of the death. So if I talk to the dude, I might be able to convince him to run away. Or even, might not even need that, because they might not even be able to verify his existence because he's so locked up and hidden away. If I just get the dice, I might be able to just pretend I got him. I'd have to do something about all this noise, though. I imagine the hat doesn't affect noise too much. The shirt gives me noise? I mean, I guess I could just take everything off. Now I'm at zero noise, and I'm just a weird, naked man. What could go wrong? Might as well be updated with that stuff, at least. It's gonna break into this place. This is gonna be interesting. Boy, is it impossible to see right now. Oh. Hopefully no one's behind me. Kind of hoping to find clothing that matches.
Where are they going? Down that way? That door's closed. Just freaking cobwebs, of course. It is so impossibly dark. Alright. Could work to my advantage, obviously. Bit bright in there. Doesn't matter if no one's around, though. And I don't see anyone around. Ooh. I don't have that one yet. Oops. I'm under a bit of a time limit because their whole schedule, they, li they live on a schedule and I don't want them all to start waking up again. Or the sun to come up. Oh my goodness. No, it's not what I meant to do. There's plentiful books in this mega library. A wardrobe. Come on. Got all these quietness upgrades. Hopefully they help me out here. That's not a wardrobe for clothes. Wait, can I only open and close it? Can I not, like, grab things from inside of it? Why did I open it then? I'm only allowed to, like, open and close it? Why? Okay, some of these are duplicates of the ones I just picked up. Admittedly. To my horse, somehow. Okay, that took a little while, so let's update my save. I'd rather not have to redo all of that random stealing. Well, kind of directed stealing, honestly. Come on. These are places where people sleep. How, I need to find clothes. Just so I'm not immediately revealed as being not supposed to be your monk's habit. High boots. Yes. There we go. Now maybe I can trick people into thinking I, I belong here. Where in the world am I going to find Monk's Habit again? Unnecessary to buy, get grab the same one again. <sighs> Prior. Not pious. What key is that? Passau Church. Trunk keys, maybe? It might just be the key that's right there. That could be interesting. I'm on my way to the, uh... What was he called? The guy that runs the area, kind of? Jotted notes. The guy that has, like, a second in command that's nearby. I forget his name. I'm near him. I've seen some of this stuff before. Key to forbidden books! That's the one I need. 
that had notes. Remember, descend from the gate of the faith between the shadow of the cathedral and the wooden stockade, pass con contritely through the dry riverbed beneath the great bridge like Moses, fearlessly still in the waters, ascend to dry land among the bulrushes, find your faith, and search in the burning bush. Um. Okay. Is it here? Key to forbidden books. Key to the bookcase with the forbidden... Hmm. Yeah, I've been through here before. That's all familiar. The bookcase with the forget forbidden books. If I I haven't lock lockpicked this yet. I want all the skills I can get. I'm not sure if this is better or worse for my costume, honestly, the, the brown hose, uh, the pants. So I have the key, I have the key to the forbidden books. I, th I assume they're in the library somewhere. Hard to see in there. No one's around here. I made a nice little spike of progress. Where do they keep the forbidden forbidden books, though? Ooh. Keep finding more. Let's just close the doors to this place, and I'm gonna pull out a torch, because I can't see shit. Oh, the prog book. 